Would you date someone who's trans? Would you date someone who's black? Would you date someone who's fat? Would you date someone who's disabled? I see. Could you make me a cup of tea, please, Stephanie? Honestly, I don't know what your answer is to those questions, but I've met a surprising number of people who would say no to all or at least some of them. Their argument is that it's just a preference and that you can't control who you're attracted to. I think most of the time that this is brought up, it's in regards to race. I'll link to a couple really good videos in the description about racial dating preferences, but in this video, I wanna talk about our other biases. Let's start with trans people. Would you date a trans person, honestly? Think about it for a second. Okay, got your answer? Well, if you said no, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. Where's the red going? Oh, that's the oh. last thing he needs, a bad run of the ball. Mark Williams 4. I could sit here and show you photos of conventionally attractive trans people. There are definitely trans people who you would never know are trans unless they told you because they passed. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember, I, oh, maybe that's what I said. This is 14 years ago, he still, they didn't do a retraction. Gay conversion therapy has been proven not to work, but you can unlearn your own prejudices. It just takes time and conscious effort. And the way that we talk about potentially dating trans people has a lot in common with the way we discuss other preferences. And there you go, you touch it then. Now look at me, take the piss out of me now, fuck face. What's your fucking crack? I don't have any crack yeah. yet. What's your game? I'm just here to cook, sir. Now look at me! You fucking take the piss out of me one more time in the middle of fucking service, yeah? Kiss your fucking ass goodbye. So by working on ourselves to dispel that idea, we can make the world a more welcoming and loving place for everybody, no matter how they look. This video is a part of my Feminism with Riley series that I'm doing in collaboration with Everyday Feminism, a website dedicated to helping you stand up to and break down everyday oppression. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about various feminist topics. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I need information. You can't be in here. Go try the nurses. <laughs>